Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to PharmaLights YouTube channel. This is the drug of the day series where today we will be discussing briefly the Vinca alkaloids. So let's get started. The Vinca alkaloids belong to the class of microtubule damaging agents and they are cell cycle specific in nature and they specifically act on the metaphase and their main source is the leaves of Catharanthus roseus plant which is also known as periwinkle. Now we all know that the cell cycle is divided into four phases. We have the G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and M phase and the M phase is mitosis phase which is again divided into four phases, which is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now, we need to remember here two terms, cell cycle specific and cell cycle non-specific. Now, the name only tells us that the cell cycle specific drugs will be those drugs which will act on the cell in a specific phase of the cell cycle. And similarly, cell cycle non-specific drugs are those drugs which are not dependent on the cell being in any particular phase of the cell cycle for them to work. So they can affect the cell in all the phases of the cell cycle. So these Vinca alkaloids, they are cell cycle specific in nature where they specifically act, oops, where they specifically act on the metaphase. Now their main source is the leaves of this Catharanthus roseus plant, which is also known as periwinkle. So the part from which they are obtained is leaves. It's not the flowers, it's the leaves of Catharanthus roseus plant. Now next is uh, these Vinca alkaloids. They mainly act in the meiotic phase where they specifically bind to a protein called tubulin. So it binds to the alpha and beta tubulin. It binds uh, with the tubulin uh, protein reversibly and it causes microtubule damage which ultimately leads to metaphase errors. Now resistance to these Vinca alkaloids develops because of PGP that is permeability glycoprotein or P-glycoprotein. Now this PGP it actively secretes these drugs out from the cell and this will lead to resistance uh, to the Vinca alkaloids. Now let's look at the mechanism of action by which Vinca alkaloids act. So they will specifically bind to this protein, the alpha and beta subunit of tubulin protein, and they will bind to tubulin reversibly. Now this will prevent the polymerization and assembly of the microtubules, and this will lead to disruption of the mitotic spindle, and it will also interfere with the cytoskeleton function. Now the mitotic spindle is made up of microtubules and it is very important for the cell because it is uh, it helps in maintaining the shape of the cell. It also it is also involved in transportation within the cell and also with signaling and also arrangement of the chromosomes. So that's why disruption of the mitotic spindle and interference with the cytoskeleton function will lead to failure of the chromosomes to move apart during meiosis and ultimately metaphase arrest will occur. So first, the Vinca alkaloids will bind to tubulin and prevent the polymerization and assembly of microtubules. This will lead to disruption of the mitotic spindle. And because of that, the chromosomes will fail to move apart during mitosis and ultimately metaphase arrest will occur. Now, there are three main drugs here. First is vincristin, which is also known as vincovin. This is the structure of vincristin drug. Here, this is the catharanthin subunit, this entire subunit, and this is the vindolin subunit. Now, these alkaloids are mainly composed of catharanthin moiety, which has two rings here. First one is the indole ring that is present here, and the vindolin subunit again has an indole ring, but it has a dihydroindole ring. So this is the dihydroindole ring, and the second ring present in the vindolin subunit is the quinoline ring, which is the which is this ring. So overall, three heterocyclic rings are present here: one indole ring present in the catharanthin subunit, one dihydroindole ring, and quinoline ring present in the vindolin subunit, and they are joined by carbon-carbon bond. So this vincristin drug, it is a rapidly acting drug and it is very useful for inducing remission in childhood acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Uh, remission means it is used for treatment of childhood acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This is the type of cancer mainly and it can be used in some other cancers also like acute myeloid leukemia, Hopkins disease, Wilms tumor, Evic sarcoma, neu neuroblastoma and carcinoma of the lung. Now the most commonly seen 
toxicity of vincristin is neurotoxicity and this neurotoxicity mainly occurs because it affects the axonal microtubules and the main symptoms of this neurotoxicity is peripheral neuropathy ataxia seizures bone pain and coma and out of these five peripheral neuropathy is the most commonly seen and is the most important one so the main toxicity of vincristin is neurotoxicity because it affects the axonal microtubule and the main symptom produced is peripheral neuropathy next drug is vinblastin this is the structure of vinblastin again it has a indole ring a dihydroindole ring and a quinoline ring just like vincristin only so here it is mainly used along with other drugs in the treatment of hawkins disease kaposi sarcoma in neuroblastoma non hawkins lymphoma breast cancer and testicular carcinoma now the main area of vinblastin is bone marrow depression and here also neurotoxicity is present and even alopecia is seen but it is less seen the main toxicity is bone marrow depression so the main toxicity of vincristin was peripheral neuropathy and that of vinblastin is bone marrow depression and the last drug of this category is vinorelbin this is the structure of vinorelbin now vinorelbin is the most lipophilic out of these three vinca alkaloid because there is one modification in the catharanthin ring system as you can see here in the vin cristin uh, structure you can see here that one hydroxy group is present and one ethyl group is present and similarly in vin blastin also we have one hydroxy group here and one ethyl uh, group here in the catharanthin moiety but in the vin in vinorelbin no hydroxy group is present only this ethyl group is present so because of absence of the hydroxy group vinorelbin is the most lipophilic of the vinca alkaloid because there is this one modification in the catharanthin ring system and this also has one indole ring uh, the dihydroindole ring and uh, the quinoline moiety now this vinorelbin is a new semi synthetic derivative of vinblastin so vinorelbin is a vinblastin analog Uh, this is important it is vin uh, vin blastin analog and it is semi synthetic in nature and the mechanism of action is also similar it inhibits microtubule assembly and causes metaphase arrest the main indication is in non small cell lung cancer and it can also be used as a second line drug and it is also useful in advanced breast cancer and ovarian carcinoma the main toxicity of vinorelbin is neutropenia so in both these three uh, vinca alkaloid drugs toxicity is different for all three drugs for vincristin it was peripheral neuropathy for vinblastin it was bone marrow depression and for vinorelbin the main toxicity is neutropenia now this was the question that came in gpan to gpat 2012 so the question was vinca alkaloids are used in combination therapy to treat a variety of tumors so how does the cancer cell normally gain resistance to these agents so the question is asking about resistance that is developed towards vinca alkaloid and the options were mutation of the target structure over expression of the carrier protein called p glycoprotein increased metabolism of the drug or decreased ability of the drug to enter the to enter the target cells now all these options that are given here all these options are responsible for development of resistance to any drug but the question here specifically asks for resistance that is developed towards vinca alkaloid so we have to read the question carefully here how does vinca alkaloids develop resistance so just now we read this vinca alkaloids develop resistance because of over expression of the carrier protein that is p glycoprotein so p glycoprotein is the main culprit here that transports the drug out of the cancer cell and as a result activity of the cell is not seen so yeah thank you i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and if you did make sure to like it and also share it with all of your friends who are preparing for gpat and nipo also subscribe to our channel where we upload such videos such informative videos every day also hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update also we have a whatsapp group free whatsapp group where we daily put mcqs related to gpat and nipo and also happenings in pharmaceutical industry and job opportunities so drop a text on the numbers that are given here and then we will do the needful and thank you